Um, most of the work I have to do in the upcoming week is related to future studies, not current studies. Mm. So I have to write proposals for the research I want to do for my master's. And actually, no, I do have a lot of regular school work too that I've just been putting on the back burner. I have uh, problem sets I have to do for population genetics. Um, I have four weeks of readings to catch up on <laughs> for my uh, sociology class. I have a report to write for my environmental studies class, and I have four quizzes, online quizzes to do for my environmental microbiology. So like, a lot of stuff to do in the next two weeks. Um, I have to prepare for a seminar presentation, so I have to do the readings and prepare the presentation. I also have to write a reflection based on that presentation, uh, based on the previous presentation. And I'm also doing a research uh, course, so I have to keep doing about 10 hours of coding a week, and also just keep up with readings for all of my classes. Nice. Uh, I have a presentation tonight, so I've like prepared it, but I think I'm going to practice it a couple more times. Uh, I have a few papers to write, and some readings to do. Uh, how much time do you spend on schoolwork? Um, I mean, a lot. I've gotten a bit better at not procrastinating, so I do less like all-nighters and things like that than I used to do in first and second year. Um, but still a lot, a lot of schoolwork. I mean, I don't know how many hours a week, but yeah, I don't know, a lot. <laughs> Probably at least eight hours a day. Really? Yeah. In first year, one of my professors told us that if we were in school full time, that we should do eight hours of work Monday to Friday, and then we would probably have weekends. But I think he's wrong. The better question would be how much time don't I spend on schoolwork? And that answer would be zero. I dream about schoolwork. It's my entire life. Um, I have to deliberately set aside time during the week to not be doing school because otherwise it could literally be taking up every moment of my life. How much of your life is dictated by school? Uh, most of it. <laughs> I mean, it dictates when you have to be, where you have to be, and when. And like, I often change when I eat based on when I have class. Class, I have over lunch hour, over dinner hour a lot of the time. And since food is the most important thing in my life, that is very upsetting. So that changes that. It also dictates when I'm able to work, which is also important to be able to afford school. Um, it changes how much I sleep. So really, it changes everything. Do you want the honest answer? Yeah. <laughs> um, completely. But that's partly due to the fact that I picked a, a tentative career path that revolves around school entirely. Mm -hmm. So for me, um, for most of my undergrad, being in science means in addition to the normal 15 hours of class you have, you also have a bunch of labs too. So in terms of being on campus, you have a ridiculous number of hours a week. And then on top of that, as every student I think knows, <laughs> um, the amount of schoolwork you have to bring home in order to stay on top of everything is huge. So that's just something I think most of us face. But in addition to that, I'm looking to doing a master's, so school is just going to be my job for the next two years and then potentially the next four years after that. So it's more or less every component of my life is dictated by school. <laughs> 100%. Really? Yeah. Whoa. Do you want to elaborate on that? There's no point in my life where... <laughs> There's no point in my life. <laughs> like, I can do things other than school, but there's always something more that I could be doing for school. Mm -hmm. So, like, any decision that I make to do anything is, like, either a decision to do schoolwork or to not do schoolwork.
Okay, and do you like the work? Like, the school work? Yeah. Um, it depends. I've had some projects where I've actually been like, wow, I'm enjoying my time right now and I feel like I'm learning a lot, but a lot of times, especially in lower years, not so much in upper years when it's more directed towards your interests, but especially during lower years I find a lot of the work is just very monotonous and you do it because you have to, not because you like it. I like most of it. I think that I would enjoy it more without the deadlines, but that's a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes, I think, I think a lot of the work that I do, I like it in theory, but then it ends up just being, when it's so much of it at once, it ends up being not enjoyable anymore because you're doing it just to get it done. And I never feel like I'm doing my best work when I have to rush with like eight other projects at the same time. Mm -hmm. So then I don't enjoy it anymore because when I don't feel like I'm doing my best. I'm not having yeah. a good time.